quit my job in Sweden after 10 years. If you'd asked my parents when I started singing, they would probably tell you that I was singing before I was walking. Bought this beast and now I'm driving. Welcome to our home on the road. This is the this is like the smallest uh, well, uh, MTV Cribs uh, report ever. Wallpapers, new fabric here from IKEA. IKEA. Dinner, breakfast, bookings, management, press, emails, <laughs> with the office. Yeah, and this is a little kitchen here. This is a queen size IKEA bed. The bathroom here. That's actually a bigger bathroom than I had in my first apartment in Stockholm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is like a big New York apartment. This whole area we're going to cover uh, when we're done touring, and this is how much we covered so far. Six months on the road, so six more, six more, six more. Two years going to cover the whole of the US, except maybe Alaska and Hawaii, but you never know, can convert this to a boat maybe. Yeah. <laughs> We get to here, we Instead probably have gigs. to rob a bank yeah. <laughs> to make it to here. <laughs> <laughs> These states are so wide. Well, I would probably say it's contemporary folk. Um, it's like, a, um, I would say that people in the folk uh, genre probably think I'm pop. And people in the pop genre think I'm folk, so I'm in, in between, I guess. When you turn down your prayer Can you feel what the mother felt When she let down her hair It's a garden Most people will say it's like Oh my god, you're living the American dream And like you're probably seeing more of the US than I ever have And I'm, I've lived here all my life and Be in like every small city we can find and, But uh, it seems like I have like one or two fans everywhere That keeps coming to the shows and you know and like comes up to me and I'm like your biggest fan and you know and you're like what really in this little town in you know Virginia or wherever and it's just amazing. I started playing the piano when I was a kid and then I kind of got tired of playing the piano so I wanted a guitar and I got one when I turned 18 and I didn't know how to play it so I started writing songs to learn how to play the guitar and uh, after a couple of years I kind of got better at it and I started playing live a lot and uh, my third gig ever was actually at the Hultsfreds festival. Well, you know, I think it's always a treat when I get some Swedish Americans come to my shows. It's always great. I try to do like an old Swedish folk song, song for them, you know, and uh, uh, so I think it's really important to like be connected to your heritage. Um, I usually do Ute um, Vorhage. I don't do a lot of covers and I don't do a lot of traditional Swedish folk music. My goal is to uh, spread my own music and, and my own songs. It's one of the most beautiful songs I know. Back home in our apartment in Stockholm, when we were cleaning the apartment, Jonas always took care of the bathroom and now he takes care of dumping the tanks. Yeah. <laughs> Glamorous. <laughs>